Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ, rwgresearch.com. Today's video, something a little different. So I got a hold of some batteries and some solar panels and a solar charger and I just started slapping stuff together. So let me show you what I've been playing around with. Um, it's a bit of a mess, but uh, that's what you get. So I'm charging this little battery bank right now. Um, the solar panels are out there. We'll go out there in a second and take a look. Um, really quickly, uh, the reason this is a fun little video is because I wanted to connect the cables with these um, Anderson style connectors. And I have some old Anderson style connectors. This is a yellow one, so this is a gray one. And if I can pull this off there, you'll see that on the inside they look different. Okay, they got different styles. And uh, so these are red ones. Uh, on these batteries, these little battery packs, these are red ones. So I had to actually, um, well, I could have bought them, of course, but I decided I was going to try to print them. So that's actually exactly what I did. Let me pop this apart with my other hand and show you what they look like. Okay, so you can see here, um, on the inside of here, these have like metal spring clips. Okay, these Anderson style connectors. They have metal spring clips under there, so these actually get pushed down and clamp into the other side. All right, see the little spring clip down there? Sorry, I'm using my phone today just to make an easy upload for you guys. Oh, hold on. Had a little disruption. Show me what you want. Okay, show me. Let's go. We'll be back in a second after I take care of the average Saturday afternoon. Oh. They're out there playing. Mama's working. That's a great shot. But I'm not going to record this video again. <laughs> Sorry, Mama. Hey, let's go. Show me. Hey, is that the one you want to watch? Sure. Okay. Good job. Now we can go do something else. Yeah, anyway, they're out there having fun, playing around. Let's go take care of some other business. Okay, well, that was exciting. So back to this. Let me show you what I got. So I basically just fed the wires through there, and I made a little hole so that... Um, it fits down inside there and then the spring tension just holds against the copper. Now it's definitely not like the best thing to do, but it is working. So these are 3D printed connectors. I have no idea why it looks terribly out of focus, but yeah. All right, so let me snap this back together. You gotta be careful because these do move around. Uh, yeah, put this together. Okay, so by uh, making sure these fit tight, uh, for what I'm doing, low current applications, it's just peachy. So now, we are going to take a look at the rest of this stuff. And can you give me a broom? Yeah, can you just tell mommy the one is on the other side over there? That one. It's outside, the little red one. It's on the pallets. Tell mommy. Oh, well, disruption after disruption, but that's what you get on a Saturday. So, I uh, got a hold of this charge controller. This guy will do uh, quite a few different things, but right now I've just got it set on a uh, 24-volt battery. This camera sucks. Sorry, guys. So, I'm pulling about 120 watts right now. It's slightly cloudy. Um, about 4 amps. So, uh, at 29.6 uh, volts, that's the maximum I've got to charge these battery packs. So, um, that guy's hooked up. Um, let me show you this wire right here is coming from outside. All right, I'll show you that in a second. And temporarily, I'm trying to recover this battery bank. This was an old battery bank. These are lithium iron sulfate batteries, actually. So here is a uh, one of those. This is a big giant cell. I um, actually don't know. Well, I guess this is still a uh, 3.2 volt cell. So these are all 3.2 volts. So I'm temporarily trying to recover this with some resistive elements and took a, took apart one of these packs here and I'm trying to recover it. Um, it was pretty low on charge, uh, although all the ones down there are too. So anyway, just messing around. Let's go out here, I'll show you. I got the uh, cable running around here, runs around the side and comes out here to my solar panel. Um, I was actually going to put it on a pole. This is an old dirt hole we got to fill in some point in time. But I was actually going to put it on this pole. There's a concrete pole in the ground. There used to be a trampoline here. And I was going to build a uh, auto tilt axis jobby. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. But uh, yeah, here's the solar panels. I believe these are 45 watt, um, 22 point, 
two volt output cells and basically I've just uh, see if I can flip this over I, I basically just wired up the back put one of those Anderson connectors out here it's not waterproof it doesn't rain very much here so yeah I got that cable here um, I made up a panel here out of smaller ones I just used all some old scrap stuff I found and uh, yeah so we are currently connected and charging those batteries and then what I'd like to do is you guys remember I had to build a constant DC or constant AC output supply for my filament extruder right so I built this little bank this is a 24 volt output um, isolated type of power supply and then this is just a battery backup it's probably like a 1400 volt amp uh, let's see I don't even know what it is an APC yeah, it's 1400 volt amp, 950 watts. So what I was thinking about doing, I do have an inverter that I might hook up, but I thought about just using this, and then I can connect my Anderson connector into where my power input is, and then fire this guy up on AC, switch it over to the battery backup, and it will just constantly be inverting. So it's a basically a 1000 watt inverter. But yeah, just messing around. The cool thing is I was printing these uh, printing these adapters. Here's one that failed on me. And uh, I just thought it was kind of cool that it actually... Uh, man, if I could figure out... This camera is just awful. I'm sorry. The autofocus is terrible. The camera's good. But anyway, yeah, I've been printing, printing those. And I thought that was pretty a pretty interesting way of doing things. These connectors are, I don't know, five bucks or something. So three bucks two bucks I, I don't know with the plugs and by the time you crimp them and stuff i just wanted to get this thing connected i'm not pulling that much power out of these things if i was pulling a lot this would be a bad idea but yeah so drop down there already anyway i'm gonna try to recover these see if i can get them to come back and yeah i just thought i'd kind of show you that uh that fun little solar project that i was working on so yeah the pole out there in the back i was kind of hoping I could uh, put uh, put that on the pole and then make a light um, guidance system so it would follow just a two axis point to point and follow the sun but I don't know if I'll get to that anyway there's the back side of that controller um, once I get these up to recovery I'll put them back together these are actually 52 volt um, packs when they're in the in the whole system um, but I had to take it apart and charge it individually um, I had to actually isolate the uh, controllers here, and they're running off of a 12-volt battery. And then that is uh, doing the charge control to balance the actual cells themselves. So, yeah, those are lithium iron sulfate batteries, K2 batteries. All right, well, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. God bless. Read the Bible more. We'll see you later.